Well, a bit of a disappointment here. Remember, our last look at 1.32 million seasonally just annual units actually moved up to 1.34. We haven't had numbers like this since uh, mid-2007. This number, 1.09 million seasonally just annual units. Quick ciphering, that's in a down 20%. Uh, thank you. Down 18 plus percent, almost 19 percent. And if we look at permits, also a similar scenario. Big miss, 1.2 million, 1.201 million to be exact, seasonally adjusted and annualized. And our last look there also uh, took a bit of an upgrade from just under 1.23 to now 1.26. So in the rearview mirror, we have rather historic numbers. In the here and now, we've had some give back. So I guess you have to think in a mean reverting sort of way that these numbers may stabilize a bit. But, uh, you know, it's never bad to have a high watermark, but this we fell below. Maybe the big news this week, of course, is uh, touching levels we haven't seen since the fall of 2014 on 10-year note rates. All the talk of emerging markets the last year or so, yeah, it's safe again, and maybe they've put out less uh, debt denominated in dollars, but no matter how you slice it, that's always the hook. And it's always going to be a hook. We've talked about this before, right, Joe and the gang? Financial physics. If the Fed's going to normalize rates, that's going to change all the calibrations, and the place that it's felt first is by those who have to procure dollars to pay their debt. Andrew and the gang, back to you. Thank you, Rick. We appreciate it. For more on the house data, let's bring in Diana Olick from Washington. Diana. Not about these numbers at all. We absolutely expected this. And what's the good news in this huge drop that we just saw in November is that October, which saw this 25% jump from September, and everyone was like, that can't be real. It was not revised down. It was actually revised up slightly. So there's the silver lining in this. But look, these numbers are very volatile. We saw a drop in September. We saw a jump in October. We see another drop in November. What I want to look at is the fact that we are still building at about in single family. And I'm all about the single family because multifamily has been doing very well. But single family is still, you know, well below historical norms. And I am not talking about the housing boom. So don't start tweeting me saying we don't want that again. We don't. But we should be at least 1.1 million on single family starts and we're still in the 800 thousands so you can have all the builder confidence you want which we saw yesterday and that was a big trump bounce but we need to build more houses if we're going to get prices to stabilize and we're going to get more people in the market we need to build entry-level houses which the builders are not building so again you know these numbers are just kind of floating along this 800 to 850 thousand starts we need to see improvement in 2017 if we're going to get first-time buyers back into the market. So, again, it's a big drop, not unexpected at all. I like that revision up for October. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.